My name is Thomas Hardiman, Sr., President of A&H Contractors, a general construction firm located here in uh, Detroit, uh, St. Louis, Mississippi, and Memphis, Tennessee. The services that we currently offer, as, a, as I mentioned, we're a general contractor. We do flood con we put in flood control systems for uh, the Army Corps of Engineers in St. Louis and Memphis. We do bridge work for uh, the Port of Mississippi. We do uh, infrastructure improvements here in the city of Detroit. We put in water mains and sewer lines. And the reason the company was formed several years ago is because I have three sons that I wanted to bring up in the business and then eventually turn the business over to them and uh, they can run it and create jobs for those individuals uh, in the communities in which we serve. There's a benefit to having uh, minorities do work because they're going to hire more and I think the federal government has understood that and that's why they came up with the 8A program through the federal government because they realized that if more minorities had businesses and more minorities would have to hire more people um, then it's going to be a benefit for the entire country and it's not a giveaway program. My mentor was a little different. Uh, the one that really helped me happened to be uh, Indian and he's still, he and I are still partners. Uh, we own this building together, we own a nursing home together, we're invested in some other areas together, but uh, we started a business from scratch, Lakeshore Engineering. Uh, he started it back in 1994. I became a partner of his in 1999, and over the years I watched him grow, and then when he got to a certain point, I decided that I wanted to open up a &H Contractors, which I started in 2003. But his company, which I had worked for since 98, uh, and we became partners back in 99, we uh, grew the company from a, a startup firm to now they have over uh, 700 employees at 40 locations around the world, and they do over $700 million in sales. I wanted to take what I've learned from being uh, his partner to bringing it to the African American community so that they can understand this is really what it takes to build a business. Now when you talk about hurdles, the hurdles are people understanding uh, the discipline necessary. I'm talking about internally, getting the workers uh, and your, your, your team members to understand that this is a business. This is not necessarily a black business. It happens to be a black business. But as a business, you have to operate by certain principles. Uh, you have to operate based on having access to cash. You have to have access to bonding. You have to have access to quality personnel. And if you don't have the right mix of personnel, your business is not going to succeed long, long term. If you don't have access to cash, your business is not going to succeed. If you don't have access to bonding, your business will not grow. And those are the benefits that I had the opportunity to get together when I was with uh, Lakeshore. And now that I have my own business, I'm transitioning that knowledge base to other African Americans so that they can learn from my experience. If you haven't built a company to a certain level, then learn from those individuals who have built it to that level you want to go. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that your ideas are bad. It's just that if you've been utilizing, doing this for a number of years, and it has not gotten to gotten you to where you want to be, then you need to listen to other individuals who are being more successful. And that's why over the last several years I tried to be in an environment of individuals who are doing a lot better than me in business. I've joined a, uh, a CEO round table where individuals in that, at that round table happen to not look like me. However, they have businesses that are some are twice as large as mine, some are three times as large as mine, some are ten times as large as mine, but the basic philosophy of success is there. Detroit is where I was raised. Uh, I grew up in the city of Detroit, uh, went to elementary school in Detroit, uh, middle school, graduated from the, the high school that's just directly down the street from my, from my office building here on Woodward and East Grand Boulevard. Uh, I have a strong commitment because my parents are here, my children live here, my grandchildren are here. So I have a commitment to strengthen the economic base in the city of Detroit and other places where I'm currently doing business.